Hey, welcome back to Plastic Madness. Uh, today we're going to be looking at another figure, another uh, KO figure, a bootleg figure from Saint Seiya, uh, from the Asgard uh, saga. Uh, it's uh, the term for um, Polaris Hilda. This is the two body uh, set uh, that they, uh, from uh, JM or oh, J Mobile. Uh, this one, my understanding, this on uh, AliExpress said it's like a meat cloth EX. My understanding that this is just meat cloth. Uh, so um, let's take a look at what's in the box. Uh, by the way, I tried to translate with these with Google uh, with the Google Translate, but it doesn't pick up the uh, the handwriting. So um, so something like a this one is like rich and this one keeps changing so something else so like west roar, roar or something like that so um i don't know i'll see if i can find some another translation for these um all right so brown box uh, so uh yeah one what's the other one there you go two uh female bodies um uh, you get the nice Hilda cloth. I don't know if there's the light, but there's a lot of uh, yellow. Uh, I see a lot of yellow, uh, yellowish on this, on this. But on the camera, it looks very white. So hopefully, it's just the lights. Uh, what else we get? Ooh. Okay, it's empty. Let's see what else we have in here. Okay, so we get the first uh, robe, which looks pretty good. Uh, hopefully, it's stretchy enough to fit it, fit the body through this. Like I had the issue with uh, Athena, that because of her uh, breast size, uh, that one of the dresses didn't fit. Uh, here. Uh, let's see here. We have two faces. I don't know if you ever. They're like a little bit dirty. Uh, nice and evil. Hilda has a chain, necklace, or what is this? Uh, some kind of necklace. Yeah, I gotta figure out where this one goes. Uh, very nice day. Nicely done. Uh, okay, let's put it over here. Um, it left a little bit of uh, it's a little bit of um, chrome in there. I don't know where it come from. I might have to do like a uh, try to clean up. It's like didn't realize this. Like, eee, super dusty. Um, the bodies are like okay. I saw she saw one. Okay, one has like a blue. Uh, paint it's on, on, the, on one of the arms uh, they're a little like um, soft the uh, the torso joint and there's like a little bit of a uh, uh, leftover material there that I had to clip um, yeah very uh, very uh, bendy very soft material um, don't really like the way that the legs the bottom of the legs do look like and it's like a so weird uh, and this one is the same um, I don't remember the one for Athena I gotta, I gotta check uh, um, we get hairstyles two of them looks like this one looks like a, the back piece of hair of a Hagen um, this one here, uh, this looks weird, um, and it has like a ton of uh, leftover plastic from the mold, but it can stand. That's weird. <laughs> um, and this one, you get two of these. Um, let's see, yeah, and one one with in indentations for the. Uh, uh, tiara or mask, tiara, right? Crown, crown, yeah. And uh, this one without. It looks like we got two of the same, yeah. 
Yeah, they're exactly the same, so I'm not gonna take a look at this one for now. Uh, another bad piece of hair. Oh, I think this is, okay, I see. Um, Cause I've seen pictures. Oh, uh, she can ride, uh, she has a, you can buy the horse. And so I guess they give you a piece of hair that so she, when she sits on the horse or on a chair, uh, that might work when, yeah. Yeah, that's something that, okay, that that's, okay, that's what it is. Uh, that with Athena, you don't get that. And whenever you see her on, on her chair, that her head goes bloop, forward. So, uh, okay, so that's what it is, okay. Um, that's something like yellow. I don't know if it's the lights or, let me see if I change this a little bit. No, that's too yellow, that's wider. Um, okay, let me see. What are we doing here? Okay, yeah, yeah, okay, it was the, it was the lights. Okay, all right, so, and uh, the back piece. Uh, so this, you just, okay. I was gonna say that this one, they remind me of the uh, movie of the, uh, the Abyss. Uh, I think that, yeah, the, the one that with the water moving, uh, it looks like a, the face of the water mix. <laughs> so this fits in there like that. Okay, interesting. Uh, we get a red dress, the blue cape. Uh, so one for each body. Uh, and quite a few pieces here. All right, so we get two uh, staffs uh, that they have, of course, the sprue connection to the sprue is over here, so uh, I was not gonna need some uh, paint to cover that. Uh, these are plastic too. It's not like a uh, Athena that they hair some metal, which is cool, but since her wrists are like super loose, uh, then uh, probably it's better that a piece of pl it's plastic. Uh, we have hands in here. Let's see what hands we have. All right, so she comes with the uh, with three hands. Okay, she comes with uh, three hands with an evil engine uh, ring. Uh, this one has an extra piece of uh, plastic there. There, sorry. There we go. Better, better view. Let me see if I can zoom in this a little bit. There you go. You can see the rings. There you go. Go back. Uh, and then she has uh, so ex some extra hands. So pretty much you get this one is a weird hand. <laughs> like uh, <laughs> uh, so I don't know to hold the her stuff. Uh, like this, I guess, I don't know. It should be more curved. Um, so, that hand is weird, so I'm not gonna be using that hand. Um, let's see. So this one can hold this. Okay, nicely. Uh, you gotta push this a little bit, so it's not gonna drop it. Uh, so, okay, so that's good, all right. Then we get the Odin's, Odin's uh, sword. For Seiya or for the this one is in a very different uh, in a light uh, blue tone has a nice has a, some gem there on both sides you can see it there you go it's a, uh, what is this is about uh, here it's uh, five inches uh, there's a little belt here, clip, which I think might be for the cape. Uh, a sprue here. Oh, this, this one comes here. Um, hmm, gotta figure out where all these pieces go on her. I gotta look at some pictures. Uh, okay, definitely two of them, they go here. They go to the, with the two holes that the cape has over here. Uh, I don't know if they give you like a extras or whatnot. Um, and they're in two tones of uh, gold. Uh, let's see, she might have 
that for the other version. We'll see. I don't know. Maybe uh, I don't know. We'll take a look at that later. Uh, also, okay. So and uh, interesting. Uh, you get a gold version of the Odin's uh, sword. Uh, except this one, the gem is not painted. It's just also gold. <clears throat> Let's take a look. Nothing here is metal. Uh, everything is uh, plastic. Uh, the top of her uh, staff or uh, kind of uh, dagger. Uh, I'm gonna put a this definition over here because I'm escaping my mind <laughs> right now. Uh, and then there's another one here for the gold parts. Uh, then she has this corset. Um, it's also plastic. Nicely painted, I'm gonna say. Uh, the gold, I mean, it's not much paint, but I mean, it's uh, has like two tones, like a uh, gum metal, uh, then uh, uh, chrome, like a dark chrome here, uh, and gold here and here. And this clips somehow this way. Uh, and, oh, I see, these pieces, they connect. Um, let's see. This piece is gonna go there. So, okay, with this, with the shoulder pads, they're gonna some somewhere. What's this? Oh, for here. There you go. That connects there. There you go. Uh, it's a little bendy, but it's definitely not as heavy as Athena's. The the one the Athena's uh, stuff. So, uh, they got the mask. Let's see. They use. Uh, the sprue was here, connected to the plastic sprue. And that's supposed to connect to this piece of hair. And that, okay, the way it works is like you gotta uh, push the, uh, and open this mask a little bit so it fits into the, um, uh, the front piece of hair, to the, to the bangs. Uh, this is one piece, so it's it's gonna hinder. It's gonna be. It's gonna be. It's gonna. It's going to hinder a little bit the uh, the movement of the head. So put that over there. Uh, then we have this neck piece. This collar. That's four. Yeah, two options for evil Hilda. Um, yeah, actually, the evil. The, the you get the uh, gold version of this uh, piece uh, so this was the back part so interesting and no oh you get two because I think she wears this also on top of this uh, robe so okay interesting uh, bracelets what else what else uh, that's it for these pieces here Gonna move them out of the way. So many plastic pieces, I mean, plastic bags. Okay, same. We get the more, we get more shoulder pieces here. These are exactly the same, there's no difference. So, uh, and then you can have her wearing a gold mask. Uh, can I remember? Um, I gotta check the episodes because I don't remember if she wears. A black one and then a, a gold one uh, so I gotta I gotta check that uh, but good thing that I mean you get this one this one is just gold completely gold so there is no difference I do like the black one because it has like all these three colors so I might I'm gonna probably going to use these versions but I want to show this one as well Oop, there you go um, and the corset it's interesting it's like they give you this body has like a ton of articulation uh, you get this here this here, but then you encase the whole body into this, and that's it. Uh, that it <laughs> there is no longer any any more movement and any of the any of the joints. So, uh, all right, uh, gotta have to clean this and see if I can get a better uh, get a finish on her on her face. This is like super super dirty. So. 
uh, and this is the gold uh, stuff same thing as that one and then the same piece over here so um, there you go so that's it so I'm gonna build her uh, I'm gonna put it together I'm gonna use uh, this this of course and I'm going to go with the black uh, corset um, and uh, okay and that's it so let me jump into the putting together the, the figures and uh, we'll do a, a 360 view uh, I'm concerned about the stability because um, these bodies are full completely plastic so I don't know how that was gonna go all right well wish me luck All right, and now we have the two versions of uh, Hilda, like nice Hilda, possess Hilda, and um, uh, they look really good. Uh, once I clean their faces, uh, all the extra dust that they had, uh, stains came off. So um, 
I'm having no complaints. My complaint is that this body uh, has super weak. Um, um, I think she's she's <laughs> she's uh, uh, trying to keep the uh, um, eyes from melting, uh, which that, that works for her. Hopefully, she stays on that pose and she keeps she doesn't fall. Um, so this body has the the weakest uh ankles this one not so much but you still can see that she's um arching a little bit because uh the back of the the back the long piece of hair is very um uh, it's very it's very heavy um i had to put uh the sticky dots that i use i've been using uh, as a life saver uh to pose the figures um but I, I ended with like a, quite a few pieces of extra pieces that I'm gonna have to put away. Well, we like most of the Saint Seiya figures. So um, you're supposed to use this hand to hold the sword, but the sword definitely, uh, I mean, there's one spot that it fits and it has like some kind of like grip, but it's very, since the handle is like uh, very uh, all shape, it, it still falls. So. Uh, so I didn't use this. Um, I think the only way might be like having to like uh, glue or something so it stays there. Um, I have like a very I have some uh, one of those uh, glue dots that I use. Uh, I have ones that are like a very uh, thin, so I might be able to put this. Uh, but the idea is just to get keep her like that. Maybe even without the stuff, like she's like praying for the eyes not to melt. Uh, like, all of us should be doing right now. Oh. <laughs> um, then you can deal with sword over here. Then um, uh, what else? Uh, you get the the gold corset that I have in use, which you can use uh, for the evil one. Um, also, it has two more uh, shoulder pads that I have not used. Uh, yeah, this color, uh, same as that one over there. I didn't see any difference. And uh, was giving me some. This one was giving me issues connecting the hair, the head to the body with the with the hair. Um, the hair has some like stains, especially this one. Uh, it's got red red stain. Uh, so I'm not sure what what is that from. I had to see if I can use some rubbing alcohol to remove it. Um, but it's in the back, so no one's gonna, no gonna see it other than you know on the, on the display here. But I'm not gonna have them like rotating. <laughs> uh, so, but definitely the bodies are the the weakest piece. Um, some of the joints are very soft. So I'm not sure how to fix these ones because this was like, like all like little ball joints uh, all over. So I'm, I'm not quite sure how, uh, what to do about them. Um, I ended with a ton of these uh, clips, like I guess because uh, you might lose them. So, I mean, not nothing nothing wrong with having quite a few extras uh, let me zoom out a little bit so we can see them um you can see with the daggers uh with the stuff um they look really good don't get me wrong they, they look really good um you can tell they're like you know chaos but um i do like the quality of the fabric that they use this one gave me some trouble to put it uh, because he has the shoulder pads. I'm af was afraid that the stitches at the shoulders are going to uh, uh, snap, but it didn't happen. This one, this chain over here, I gotta figure out how to do the loop uh, for this because uh, you can put a picture over, over here uh, of what it's supposed to look and what I did definitely is not, I don't think that's the right way. Uh, it's supposed to have one more loop around her waist, which doesn't have it. Um, I don't know. I think for the price I pay, uh, I think I paid like uh, with a it was a special uh, the same week that I bought El Cid. Um, so I think they were like thirty bucks for the two figures, uh, and they look really good. Uh, the rope is like a has really good quality. She keeps keeps leaning back, <laughs> um, so no complaints. No complaints. And all the third, like the there were all the stains that they had, they came off. So, uh, 
all the pieces fit nicely even though they're plastic they fit very nicely uh, so I think uh, I can recommend this figure uh, she keeps falling uh, except for the, the weak joints at the at the legs I'm gonna figure out a way to fix that uh, well uh, so let me bring her forward a little bit yeah see it's she is falling um, this one was giving me trouble but now this one's out but I figured out like a, a way to like uh, arrange the knees so maybe I can do that for her if I can do that so she doesn't fall <laughs> Um, all right, well, uh, this was the review for the two set of uh, uh, heel desks from um, uh, J Model. I uh, got this from uh, uh, AliExpress. Uh, they are, um, you'll see them as a uh, Meat Cloth EX, but definitely they're uh, just Meat Cloth. They're not uh, the EX version. Um, I haven't seen the EX version, so I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not sure about that. Uh, I'm not sure how that one looks. Uh, nice details that so you get the uh, the ring on her hand. You can put her like that, like expecting uh, her uh, her warriors to kiss her hand, uh, kiss her thing, her uh, her ring. Um, I have Thor that the guy is huge, so that's gonna look nice. I gotta I gotta put them together, so I'm gonna make a video about, for him. Uh, so. Uh, and uh, this is because my brother he convinced me to uh, uh, to go with the <laughs> with his guardians instead of uh, uh, the uh, Poseidon one. So uh, so we'll see what's next. So um, all right. So I got this from AliExpress. I think I already say that. Uh, very cool figures. Uh, smaller. Uh, I'll probably check uh, make a video comparing them with Athena. Uh, with, from Grey Toys. Um, it's a, again, it's a two-piece set. You get the options for uh, Possess Hilda and Nice Hilda, uh, Benevolent Hilda. Uh, so, pretty cool set. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I hope you, if you like it, give it a like, uh, subscribe, all those cool things you can do. You can leave a comment. Uh, you can also, if you didn't like it, you don't like the figures or you don't like the video, you can uh, post. Uh, you want to leave a comment and give it a thumb down if you want. And if anything, I, like I said, I hope you enjoyed the video. All right, well, thanks for watching. Take care, and I'll see you in the next video. All right, take care. Bye.